we have quite a video for you to see. Now, we're going to go back and show some old clips, but we're going to show you this Jurassic Park that's going out tomorrow first. But we have been eating, the boys have been stuffing themselves with Luigi's wonderful Australian candies and mints from across the pond. He sent us that big box. Did you see the video from yesterday? Oh, Frank! Oh. Yeah, let me set it down here. Ooh. Now, I got two boxes in. I'm opening because this one's from Brad and Martha Moosh. Or maybe it's Mosh. I hope he said a box full of money. Take a dog. I'd even take ones. Talk to your brother. My brother said, take whatever they give you. So what could be in here? It said something that says jumbo. Oh! Good God! What is this? Jumbo brown eggs, Frank. They're all broken. Oh. That's to protect it. He has sent chips and chocolate. Mm. Oh boy. And more eggs. Well, that's a good way to send them to make sure they arrive fine. There they are. They love me. At Daddy Pops, see? We did have fun. <clears throat> Martha and I will never forget our visit in 2016. Oh, episode 1195. I didn't have to look it up. Daddy Pops was a perfect meeting place as well as a great place to eat. We weren't expecting a tour of your shop and warehouse. So that was a nice treat. And playing that new Star Trek pinball, maybe you want one Sunday. I had over some time for the last few months to work on my own games. Since I've been mostly layoffs, as until my employer gets some more projects lined up with other companies. That's what we hear we're hoping. So I've renewed a few power supplies with new capacitors, good in asteroids and firepower. Also replaced the score displays with the LEDs, certainly more dependable, that's true. And I'm in the process of replacing the rubbers and bulbs with LEDs. There's never a shortage of things to do with our collection. But Honeydew projects seem to get, keep getting in the way of finishing the game projects. So those are on hold now. The chocolate-covered chips are from a popular local maker of chocolates and candies here in the Florida Space Coast. Hmm. Oh, my um, cousin lives down there, too. She's right on the Space Coast, That's too. so great. I can we really like any, to get send you any these chocolate -covered chips. occasionally for a nice treat. Hopefully <clears throat> you can share and enjoy them. Of course I'm going to share them. Maybe. Let us know if any of you are in our area will be find something to do or talk, whether it's for lunch or dinner. Brad and Martha Mosh. Well, that was a nice... Oh, that was really nice. A complete surprise. Thanks. Thanks to you, too. And I should open this because I know this is related to Christmas. And I know who sent this. Somebody who has treated me so good. It's from Mike Dodona at Automated. Oh, hey, Mike. Happy holidays. For Best wishes for Happy New Year. Wasn't that nice? He sent Godiva chocolates. These are not cheap. Mike, you're good to me. I don't know why Mike likes me. Everybody else hates me. Mike likes me. And he has done the same. Look at this. A whole box. You know what? I could, I could put a little tag on there and give it to my lovely wife. Say, honey, I bought you chocolates. No, I won't do that. Well... Of course not. Come on. You think I'm that tacky? Giving away another present? Thanks, Mike. Now, you can talk directly to Mike. He will talk directly to you just by calling this number. There we go. I had to... I remember trying to remember where I put him in on the screen. But you know what? This man has been waiting forever Oops. for that. You see that? This is a remarkable game that we finished. And 
we powder coated it red, as you can obviously see. The handle, this, the legs, this beautiful feel. We can do that for your game. It depends on the, what, how much we do. That adds cost because there's also labor. You have to pry off the original lake. Aside, you gotta add new sticky sh stuff. Can't say. I just glued <clears throat> it. Uh, now, like the other ones we've sold in the past, we've lit. This plastic was never lit. We never figured it out. But now two strips in the back wall are lighting it that are attached to the back wall. They're not attached to the play field. So you can lift the play field up, slide it forward, you're not going to rip the wires up. They go down the side of the cabinet to the front. The same place where we've put these fire light o the fire light o not that nice? I've done that because I'm just great. Well, I paid somebody to do it. Anyway, we have a light back here lighting up the uh, gate. And look, we put that hole. Now you can see the darn hole. That's, of course, the toilet bowl where the guy in the toilet would sit there and then he would scream no, no, no and get eaten. That's such a great scene. Now, I added strips here and here. <coughs> the ball can't hit them and there's a white one here at the bottom but look how, how nice it illuminates this section of the play field and I think it's just a nice feature really nice addition to the game I'm sure the customer can do some other stuff to this too we have a couple fires here burning and in the uh, lightning in the clouds and of course this features the color DMD which just sets this machine and makes it absolutely remarkable and it's just remarkable has so much pep. It's just hard to believe that it, in fact, is 26 years old. But no, no, it's 27. It's going on 28. Right down, Mr. Toilet. Now, I think you all know one of the very first updates, there were two big updates on this. The one is the teethies. Everybody, I'm sure, has fixed this. See, the teeth are pulled out. So they grab them. Now, you have to have the updated run so the dinosaur moves slower and picks up the switches. Okay? That's important. So you should know that. The, if you use an older ROM, sometimes the, the dinosaur doesn't sense it and then pass right by. So that current ROM is the last one. It can slow down the dino. See, he's not moving real fast, see? Eh? Like 
Kitchen is going through the whole thing. I'm hoping the customer thinks it was worth the wait. Um, uh, he actually uh, uh, got a lower price than what we was. We sold this, I thought it was a while ago. You know, so after this job, we figured we should raise it for the next one. So, he cashes it, gets this beautiful game. And we're going to ship it tomorrow. Before the snow. Well, Frank, now that this is done, the main thrust of the video is, of course, Sega's Frankenstein. And this was filmed about two months ago. Let's take a look and see how beautiful it is. Now, are you filming? It's on now. It's recording. Come. I used that clip again, Kurt. Come hither. The come clip from uh, um, Captain Picard. One of the great pinball designers, John Borg, made this machine that everybody hated, from what I understand, years ago, and now everybody's looking for it. Made 3,000 of them. Sega did. Now, a uh, very talented guy did a lot of work on this. We took this in trade. Did a lot of work on it. And uh, we added some features uh, that weren't on it. Um, uh, for instance, we added this color display. Look at this thing. It's magnificent. You get that from colordmd.com. And uh, it's a great addition. Of course, it's not just showing the credits. It's one lousy color, but... Um, while, oh, now, here we go. See, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, he put the speaker lights in. Now, we did clean up the wiring on that so it's a little better. And then we added, so the lift up with it, we added strips right here and here and wired them into the play field. Uh, he had put a strip on the top, but there was no place to run the wire. So if you lift the play field, the wire would get stuck on stuff. So. We, we wanted to do it that way for this customer because um, the less wires that are all over the place, the better. Really and truly. Um, the cabinet's in great shape. Stephen went over it. He also added, we added these metal plates. You can buy these plates from Marco. It covers up the area. See, this stuff wears um, off if you keep rubbing it or get it wet a lot. It's just the way the artwork is, and I think this is why people don't want to do take their games to a pinball show in the midst of the COVID, because they don't want people squirting hand sanitizers on it mm. and wiping the sides, and then the paint will start coming off. That would not be nice. But um, this part here is lit now with a strip, So, uh, and he put um, the uh, colored... Uh, rubbers on this in a number of places. I thought that worked out well. Um, the game's beautiful. Uh, when we got the game, it had the wrong coil in here. And Kurt said it was not flipping well. I didn't do any jokes yet. What's this one? Come. Um, oh, Curdy. Trash. <laughs> um. Wait a minute, I like using that one. Time for new ones. I can't think of any new ones. All right. Hit that. Wrong coil in there, just that's where you stop it. Thank you. Okay, the wrong coil. So it was like, whole, it was doing like this to the ball. Ugh. Ugh. See, it's supposed to go whack. And it wasn't whacking the ball. See, there's not a lot of room here to whack it. See, there's just not a lot of room. Now, listen, they're, we're putting in a... He's drilling through the walls. We're putting in a new security system. 4K. Now look, look. See how nice and bright this is. He added this purple strip. Isn't that sharp? I think it is. You can pick either soundtrack. Get your winner for the film track. 
Now, heads and spins randomly. The factory board was actually still good. Um, so it didn't get copyright issues or with a patent with Rudy. The head is random. It does not follow the ball. So when you hit targets and stuff, the head does not move. But there's a gal chip that programs the movement. If the chip goes bad, the game is unfixable. You can't fix it. There's no, you can't burn it or do anything with it. So Frank sells a brand new Frankenstein board with a new servo motor for the head. So we do have it on our website, so if you need it. We haven't sold this, we sold more Tommy uh, boards and uh, servos than Frankenstein. I think we've only sold maybe 40 of the boards so far. This one didn't need it, this is still working. But look, we'll go in one of the holes that are all protected by cliffs. See? The fellow getting this game is getting a very nice piece. I hate mystery. Now, if you've seen the movie, I guess it would make more sense. All, all targets are now 500,000. See how that could almost drop in there, but it could still pass the hole. Okay. It's so close. Uh, anyway, if we, if we put the ball up here, it'll pass. Okay, so it won't go in. It won't stop it. If the game loses track of the ball, let's say, see there's no switcher sensor. The game knows the ball is there simply because of moving up the target. The game will eventually go into a ball search, as you'll see now. See? You saw he tossed it. That baby tossed that baby. So it's a good game in terms of plenty to do. I, I didn't get a chance to really play this. Uh, we're, we're so busy. But, uh, the lock is lit, so now we have two locks. Lock is lit. I'm not ready! Can we go into this hole now? See right here? Okay. Lock ball one. And now we have two ball multi ball. Lock it there. Okay. So it seems to be pretty dependent on that. I might as well try flattening. John Borg's gonna hate me for not learning this game. We, we just don't have time. You know, that's the nice thing about getting pinball. Uh, we figure eventually we'll learn the game plan of some of these wonderful machines that have been forgotten. A lot of effort went into this game. Did you love the ball going to the uh, we went just in the gold ram pocket. Now, okay, so so can you tell us the procedure for that? Right, there's lock one. There's two, okay. But see, the only way to get in the top right, the only way to get the top right, well, Kurt, it has you already did it because you already did it once. Right, but you have to go in the hole, right? You have to go to the ramp. That's the flash. Okay, so the red is flashing. So that's that's the indicator to get one. Didn't see the hole. Not in the hole. Not on legs. Not on legs, Kurt. Which it did, Kurt. I got it to work.
a house in there. You know there's six walls in this thing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know the rules. We didn't learn it. Got the side. Um, the side blades are nice. The, the man that we got this from did a very nice job. Keep eating pizza. Keep eating pizza. That'll be me. Mm -hmm. Look. Kurt, look, it's in time with the music. Brian Schmidt did this music. Actually, well, no, he, well, he, was, he did the sound, I should say, the sound. Because, of course, the, this is the movie soundtrack that he, they, I guess they, they cleaned up the score. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Don't worry, sir. Well guarded. Here's a big game. It's just not good. We don't have time to play. Who am I? People are upset now. They're not broken. You should know the rules. If you fall, they can do your little frozen fall. You mean this? Let it go. Let it go. You don't have it in there. Where are all the recycled you guys? Threw them away. I did not. I probably took them home and hang them up the house somewhere. Yeah, wait a minute. It's this video here. If you want to see the recycled joke gag, the full video. Six ball Victor. Hey. Victor Vector. Victor Vector. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Thank you for watching. Good. Okay. Well, you saw this in an earlier video. It's such a great way. The skill shot is C. See? Sure. And if I, my ball drains, I'll get my ball back. Ooh. Okay. Oh, look, I got 10,000 bonus on that. My ball drains every night. See, there we go. And I get the ball back because I have guaranteed play time. Nice. Look at that. Hey. Look, if I hit that, See, star scores special when lit. Yes! And look, star scores extra ball when lit. Oh, you know what? I'm on the extra ball, so it's not going to give it. Does this have that board in it, though? Hmm? Does this have that extra? Oh, I'm not on the star. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me flip this. Let me cheat. There it is. There, now it is. There we go. Isn't that great? Does this have the extra board in it where it goes? Well, yeah. yeah, this is it. Where did I bring that book back? What do you need? Me, did I leave oh, that? Oh it's on God. a table, the wump or whatever. Oh, come, yes. Here, come over here. This is going out now. Knee now, wump? Customers save money by not having us do the cabinet or touch up the back glass. But we did do the play field. The play field is stunning. So we went over the whole play field, new drop targets. Uh, see, we knocked out those three red, ugly, dirty rollovers. We have brand new cl clear ones. Oh, I have to start it first. Brand new clear ones. This is what you want, right, Todd? And see, look, we put in multicolor LEDs. You find the button. Yes, sir, it's in advertising. Yep, that's it. This is the 9 wump manual for the Mark II board. <laughs> there it is. So we have new connectors. Uh, this connector, this, and this are brand new. You can buy them from Dosen Electronics right there. Great guys. They make these connectors so you can reuse these old boards, brand new power supply, so you get good, steady, quality connections. We have, you put the fast blinkers up in here. In the... So it's really nice because it makes the game a little more exciting. Just a little bit. Now this one doesn't have a kicker in it. So that just pisses and moans there, see? You just do like a laser. It does a little bit. Get the lasers. Oh, lasers back in this time. Yeah, oh listen, 
this does have an option. We have it on normal. See, now watch. It goes down. See how it's counting down? Okay, but this has an option for fast countdown. That's for the customer that's going nuts. Oh, this bulb is loose. Yeah, it is. A, yeah, yeah, that yeah. bulb is loose. So it's okay. the one on the other side, isn't it? I don't know. No, there's, only one. One. there's only there's one. There's two and one. Now look, we lit this with the blue. That's our Timmy exclusive, right, Timmy? That's right. Along with this, my Timmykins came up with that oh, idea. I didn't come with the drain. I came light, with that. No, you light the no, no, light up the uh, uh, the flipper button and the shooter lane. See, look, see how nice you can actually see what the heck you're doing if you're playing in a dark room. If it has a skill shot. Yes, it's perfect for skill shots. You, find, you figure out in this case when the skill shot's random. <coughs> see when this goes down. See, let's see. Oops. Oh, you Shoot know what? Again. This I know this was sitting on top of a switch. Okay. Shoot again. So we shoot it again. Is the ambulance coming? So in this case, the skill shot C. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's suppose you finally figure out where to pull this back so the top of your tip will go right into the C. Yeah. Yeah. Tip always oh, goes in the C. Oh, God, no. You didn't oh. get it. Time to get it. You got it in the B. That's the back end. C's the front end. Uh, anyway, now look, you wouldn't you know it? We also have a third guy for getting ready. A solar ride. Solar <coughs> ride. <coughs> Take it, it easy. Or you go, no, no. We already service this. So do you get a chance to see brand what new. we do? Awesome. We have brand new. He didn't put the flippers through here yet. But we have brand new boots to go in, but you can see new sleeve, new end of stroke switch, new plunger link. The plunger link, see that white? That's made, uh, you buy all the parts from Steve Pimble Resource. Uh, other dealers are carrying his parts. So, you can also buy the plunger link from uh, a lot of other places. I put that back. That was from yesterday so, from the ship. So, all three flippers has to, I mean, they were a mess. You can see we have a bendy that's going to light up the holes. That was taken out and cleaned. The game was pretty awful when we started. Now it's fine. It will be. Yeah, yeah, we're still working. Oh, so nice. he's done. Like this? I just pulled it back. Oh, well, I was in there. I just wanted one eye poke. Well, wait for your brother to come in and then poke both of his eyes. He doesn't come in anymore because that's... What's wrong with your two it. eyes? You can poke those. Nope. And block your own self. Well, he'd bring the puppy here <laughs> The puppy would be peeing everywhere. Oh, what kind of puppy? What kind of dog do you got? Golden Retriever. Oh. Well? Steven's working on the tri-zone. Yeah, well, that's... He finished it. It's drying. Yeah, the tri-zone... Uh, we just finished. This is going out. Possibly tomorrow. We just got the soundboard oh, done. I like this manual. It's in a folder. Um, yes. That, uh, yeah, we, uh, th this came along very nice. So, um, we're st it's still a work in progress. Progress. Excuse me. Progress. Did somebody put Imaginary a shooter rod. You don't even have it's to light so it up. It lights itself. In there. Show, show them that, shoot, that sweet shooter rod. <coughs> That's coming. To a theater near you. Okay. Uh, good. Oh, did you say that the Star Wars is getting worked on? Star Wars. Yeah, it's in the last oh, oh, okay. That's an overhaul. I, know. I, I think they're bored. All right, let, so. Let's move on to something else. <sighs> Wait, stick. don't break it. I'm not entirely helpless. Watch. Ah! That was awful. Stand in this bucket of water while they do that. God, it's pouring. Okay, look. This used to be an NBA jam. You can tell that this is a slide out drawer. It was converted to another Bally Midway game. The famous open ice. World famous. And it has a beautiful picture. It's loading the ROMs. I don't have time to set this up. We don't have time, do we, John? Nope. No. <coughs> so, 
I will have to do a video on open ice another day. But if you bring Mr. Camera over, you can see it has a beautiful picture. 1995, it was a kit. The kit came with a sticker, came with a sticker. Um, we put the red tea molding on it that you can see. You're not colorblind viewers. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why don't you do half red, half blue? I don't know. Anyway. So, it's a good picture. It's a good game. Did you play it when it was in the showroom? No. Well, we're doing a combo here. Um, a Devil's Dare two different ones. Johnny's going to go over at some point to s make sure we don't have another head. I don't think we do. Well, I was hoping we did, but uh, the Hurricane came in for a board repair. Uh, the boy over here, he's not really the boy here. Uh, Tim? No, no. Uh. Tim, now, I was hoping we could do to save the thirteen dollars for the ballast. Mm -hmm. You could take these out and paint them high gloss black. It's got two new ballasts right I buy more yeah, ballasts. I said somebody robbed that out. Did something, they robbed it? It wasn't even in it? Maybe we went in our fish tank. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, yeah, they scavenged, didn't they? they scavenged. This this game used to be a wreck. It's well, it's partially a wreck. Did you start on the play field yet? No, yeah, okay. The play field is a is a hazard. It takes a long time to get these right. Doesn't it, Scotty? Weeks. Oh. Now. This lovely, rusty little treat. I'm zooming in. I don't want to manually zoom in. It's such a pain in the neck. Mm. Now, these have carrying. You can put it in there, and then you uh. can carry it out to the wall. Oh, you're not enough nicotine in your mouth now. The ricket, the, uh, the recycling wall. If I try to put it out there now, it'll float away, I think. <laughs> we got a river out there. Listen, it's getting closer to winter, you know. And very soon, very soon, I'm going to be able to whip the door open like this. And I'm going to be able to go. Let it go, let it go. No. No? Nope. Look what's coming in, Cybernaut. That is going to be our topic for our seminar at the Pinball Expo. On purpose? Yes, the complete restoration of a Cybernaut in 40 Technicolor minutes. Starring Scotty, my Steven, me, of course, Curdy Birdie. Walter? Walter? Ooh. Wallace? Uh, we'll have to go. No. Where is his workbench? What happened with workbench? Oh, God. It's a stage area. It's a stage area. I missed the <clears throat> Well, we want the legend back. His hat's gone, too, so. But we left his switch. Don't push this button, remember? You remember that video right there? I had to sit down and rest. That was exhausting. Was exhausted. Well, listen, Jonathan, you can pack up the open ice. We're not going to do anything more detailed. That's it. I know you're disgruntled and upset. Very. It hurts but you. We won't be loading it now unless it stops brewing. Mm. It hurts me. <sighs> he is. Well, we didn't. Let's see what he's doing. Come over with me. 
by making a nest. Thanks, Kirby. There he is. All right. Well, let's see what he's doing. <coughs> well, we're working, working on this. Sorry, Dave. We're working on this. We're working on a television set. A color screw, television. Screw right in the dumpster. Put a flat screen in. No, they don't want a flat screen. They want a TV set. <sighs> now this one is coming along. Uh, the ballast took a dump. Now this is interesting. See, you can see it's brown. This took a real dump. Just a little. It is. So, but I'm not. I'm not going to do. I can't do two. I can't do two uh, shock gags in the same video. Says who? I'm really tired and the day's only half over. No, the day's all over. Well, I hope you liked tonight's video, folks. Some old footage combined with new. Tonight is New Year's Eve, and I'm going home early. But make sure you join us next year, 2021. Lots of videos coming. Good night, folks. If we can dream of